Hey folks, today I have with me a couple different Seed Choice items, uh, some wiring items, some electrical connectors, crimpers, um, a bow light, and a on off switch. Uh, some basic electrical setup. Um, you know, every boat needs a bow light, well, almost every boat, and uh, most of those bow lights need to be connected to a battery somehow. And you having the access to turn the, the lights on, on and off with a switch can be beneficial. So I had some tools lying around the office. I thought I would show you how I would wire my bow light. Um, to a single position on off switch. Um, so using this power supply as my home battery, I'm going to kind of show you a couple different crimps and um, lines of connection on how I would do it. Um, so first things first, we've got our bow light, right? It has a one positive lead and a black cable for negative lead, right? So we just pretend that that's the front of the boat. And now we got to get power to this light. Um, being in the front of the boat, I'd imagine your battery is probably in the back of the boat, closer to the helm or toward, towards your motor. So you'd probably have a long piece of cable, of wire cable to connect the, the, the light to the back. Um, but for sake of demonstration, I have a couple shorter cables here and we'll just make the crimps recording. Um, so first things first, the mo more basic, we'll take the black, the negative. This could go to any ground. Um, for sample or for argument's sake, I'm gonna connect this black to what would be our battery. Right, all the way to the back, you can go connect it to your battery. So that would be this black wire that could be extended by you know, a cable length of C-choice cable, for example, and we would connect that to our battery. All right? You know, we could use this as an example, right? Let's say we have a piece of, here's our cable that our, we want to use, our C-choice wire. Um, with, you know, what's, oftentimes you have a ring terminal. You could put this ring terminal on top of your, or through your battery terminals, right? You put this through your battery terminal, put a nut over top, and then this cable would run all the way to the front of your boat. And then now you have this wire with, with no connecting connector on the end. And like I said earlier, you have, you have this, this wire from the light. So what you can use here is a butt connector. And that's what we'll demonstrate just now. With our C-Choice kit, you know, it has a handful of different um, connectors, um, some ring terminals, some butt connectors, some disconnects. Um, we're gonna use all of them today. This is pretty simple. You'd put your one end of wire through the one end, right, into the metal connection. There you go. And you have a crimp tool here, one of the C-Choice crimp tools. And it actually has the colors indicated on what size uh, connector you're gonna use. So we're using a 22, um, 22 to 18, All right? So you put that right in there into the 22 18, right where the metal kind of ends inside the crimp, right? Keep a picture of the wires, stays in there, you crimp it down and then it releases, right? And now you've got the wire crimp from this side. So now we wanna do the same thing with the negative wire from our light. So we insert our wire into there. So now our two wires are connected, right? But we gotta crimp this side still. So I'll hold that there with my one hand. There we go, now it's not coming out. Next step would be connecting our red wire to our switch, right? So this switch is in the back of the boat or wherever it may be. You can use a long piece of cable, right? Connect it to wherever you want to with the butt connector method like I showed you here. Um, but to save some wire and because we're not really using this, um, I'm just gonna use this small piece of lead here just like I would if I had an extension. So what we're using here is called a quick disconnect. And this is the type of connector you would use on one of our C-Choice switches, right? So this would flip onto here like that for a strong connection, right? That's not gonna go anywhere. So what we're gonna do is just like we crimped it with the other ones here, uh, we're gonna look at our gauge of wire. This is 22. So that's exactly what we're working with here, 22 to 18. So this is the right connector for this wire. We're going to put it through. There we go, with ease. We have our crimp tool with the size that we need. Let's see if I can make the right connection so I don't have to do it again. Right, there's the crimp. Put it onto the on off switch. You can use, it has a couple different positions back here. You have two or three, just so you remember where it was. I'm gonna go on the top one there, so two. So when the switch goes up, the power is gonna connect, right? So the light will go on the top connector. Okay, so now we gotta get power to this, to this switch. 
Got another quick disconnect. I'll use uh, this piece of wire, for example. So let's pretend we have this extension. Here's our ring terminal that would be on our positive end of our battery. I'm not gonna connect it to our battery just yet, um, but that's where it would go. So here we need to strip the wire, right? Because this cable's fully covered. We have a, um, a wire cutter, front end wire cutter, which is, which is a handy tool where you can kind of set the depth for how deep you, how much wire you want to expose. Right here, I'm just gonna go with five millimeters. That's enough for what we're doing. So you would stick this in there. Boom, now we've got our exposed wire, really nice cut. Um, and then we'll put it into our in disconnect. So we would take this. So now we gotta get our switch power. So we're getting, we're gonna connect this end, which is gonna be used as the, the power for the switch. Right, so now that's onto our switch. Last thing we need to do is connect everything to the battery now, right? So now we're gonna connect this to the battery. The switch is in the down position, meaning it's off. Battery is on, meanwhile, right? So the boat could be running. You could have your radio on, for example, if we had a different connection to the radio. But uh, you know, it's getting darker. Now you want to turn your light on. You could flip your light switch up. Boom, lights are on. Um, pretty simple. That's all you have to, all there is to it, really. Off, on, right? And then you could just repeat that process for what other electronics you might have on the boat. Um, you know, if you start finding yourself with a lot of different things you want to turn off and on, you can get um, a multi panel switch, right? Where you can find a whole board with six different switches and they all control different electronics. Um, but that's the main idea and the type of uh, connectors you're going to need. Here's our bow light. You know, it had our two, two lead wires, a, a positive and a negative. Uh, what I did here was a butt connector connection to a long piece of wire to directly to our battery, right? So let's say this was a battery boat. You ran this all the way down. Now you can connect this to your battery. There's your ground. Then we got to get our positive to our switch. So we, here's our, lead, our red um, wire lead. So we could have extended this if we wanted with a buck connector like we did with the, with the ground. But for argument's sake, we have a shorter one. We're going to connect this to, with a disconnect to our top prong on our switch. So that would be up. That's going to be our ultimately turning it on. Then we, how is our switch getting power? We have a wire here, right? So this wire is going to go to our battery. It has the uh, ring terminal, so this would theor theoretically connect to our battery, while this end has a quick disconnect to attach to the, this end of the switch, right? So that's how this switch is getting power, through this wire that's connected to our battery, right? So now we have positive power coming in, but the switch is off, which is breaking the connection. Um, so to complete the, cir the circuit, our ground is connected to our battery, right, all the way around. So now our circuit is complete, so let's turn on power to our bow light. There it is.